Hey everybody, it's me, Ben. It is Sunday, October 11th, 2020, and it is a beautiful, beautiful fall day today. Very different from last week and past weeks. Uh, also, the air is much cleaner than it has been since, uh, well, for the past like 45 days or so. So thank goodness for that. I'm just um, enjoying my uh, nice fall weather outside here with uh, my cup of coffee right here black rifle coffee the pretty pretty awesome coffee so uh, so what's going on this weekend well there's a lot that happened this week well the weather got better that's one um the um we had a little issue we had no water on um thursday so our well <laughs> Well, we found there was a broken pipe. We have five acres here. We have pipes running all over the place. And um, like three in the morning, uh, my wife went to go get a glass of water to drink and there was no water. So she wakes me up and I go, okay, what's going on? So I get my flashlight and start like a lunatic uh, going around the property looking for a broken pipe or see if the well went out because we are on well water here on five acres. We don't uh, rely on public water like a lot of people who live in you know towns and cities. So we have to rely on our well and the water that's deep underground. So when our water goes out, we're kind of um, SOL, as you would say. Uh, so three o'clock in the morning, I you know I jump out of bed, grab my flashlight and start looking around the property. First, I check my pipes here on my, at my house and see if there's any broken pipes anywhere. Check my water heater, see if that bursts, you know, all the, all the different checklists. Then I go to the uh, tenant's uh, place, which is right next door to ours, the mobile home, and check if there's any broken pipes there. Water heater, of course, the pipe going into their house. You know, we're all on the same water system. So then I started looking around, you know, all the faucets around the property. Um, there's quite a few of them because we have a lot of trees and plants that we need to water. So we have uh, faucets uh, for hoses all over the place. So I check all those, I see nothing, okay? So I go to the well, you know, which is right next to my office and I see that it's running, I hear it running. So after letting it, you know, hearing it run, I you know, check around the well area, see if there's a broken pipe around the well area. No, you know, usually evidence is like mud or just a wet area on the ground, so nothing. Uh, I check all the other hoses and I figured the only explanation could be our old uh, livestock barn that we had. We still had water running over there even though there's no animals out there. So, uh, I mean, there was nothing running out there, it's just that pipes still ran out there. So after all that, you know, I said, well, it's 3.30 in the morning, 3.45 after going through all this stuff, I have to work the next day or the, in a few hours. So I just turn off the well water at 3.45 in the morning and just check on it in the morning, get up early and check on it in the morning. Uh, thank goodness my dad was home. Um, so, he's, uh, so he calls me up at seven o'clock in the morning saying, hey, did you turn off the water last night? I said, yeah, because they're it was a broken pipe somewhere. So he's okay, good, good, good you did that. So um, we were kind of looking around before I went to work to see, find out where it was. He checked the animal barn. He said he couldn't find anything. I double checked everything that, now that I was more awake, check around my area, the mobile home, all the other stuff. So um, after said and done, I, I, you know, we just turned off the water to the ma water main to our house. It wasn't my parents' house. We knew that because the water was fine after we shut off my water, my water main. And um, so it had to be somewhere between us, the mobile home and the uh, animals, the livestock barn. Again, I checked everything here, triple checked it, checked the mobile home. I even shut off the, the water valve to the mobile home just to make sure it wasn't something internally maybe in the mobile home that might have been um, broken, that might have been leaking. Nothing there, it was still doing the same thing. So our conclusion was it was something in the animal barn. So my dad said, well, I looked. I said, well, you know, um, it's gotta be something over there because I mean, there's a lot of veg vegetation out there as well. 
because uh, there has, we haven't had any animals in quite some time. We're hoping to get some goats down the road, so hopefully that will uh, resolve a lot of the vegetation issue. Uh, we've had some um, uh, deer, a de family of deer that's been staying out here in the brush as well. I mean, like I told you before, we are an anim animal sanctuary for a lot of animals. Uh, we have deer, we have rabbits, we have squirrels, turkeys roam by, um, they stay under our trees. So all that stuff is, it's so possibly maybe one of the deer maybe broke a water main, you know, out there. So anyway, after everything said and done, I didn't work in my office because it, the power was uh, tied into the well. So I couldn't have my computer shut off, off and on every so often. So I decided to work from home here in my house, uh, which is a little, little cr more cramped than it is in my own office. But I was able to get it done. I was looking on a little tiny screen. It's kind of like I'm working on a iPhone to on a spreadsheet on an iPhone. I mean, that's what it felt like after going from a 27 inch monitor down to, you know, the 13 inch that's on my laptop. So my work laptop. So, um, you know, after, you know, my dad, I had to work, so I couldn't help really. I had to, I had to work, um, in my office or my wife's office, uh, her jewelry room. And, uh, so after, you know, we just decided just to cut off the water to the animal barn and see if that did it. And lo and behold, it was something in the, uh, livestock barn. So, uh, they just bypassed that out and everything's fine, but it took until about four o'clock, 4.30 for us to get water again, which was really weird. I mean, we have, we have emergency bottles of water here. So if we need to wash our hands or uh, use the bathroom, we have like gallons and gallons of water that we have stored away. That's specifically for that type of thing when we, if our well were to go out or if we had no power, because that's the other thing too. Uh, if we have no power, like a blackout, we have no water because again, we have a well well runs on electricity, electricity, you know, turns on the well to pump water to supply water throughout the, the property. So that was the, uh, that was the, that's why we have water where, like I said, my wife and I are kind of preppers when it, in regards to emergency stuff like that. Thank goodness. I wasn't like that before. I thank wholeheartedly to my wife for kind of steering me in that right direction to be prepared for things like this. So Anyway, uh, that was Thursday. Uh, Friday was a much more smooth day. Worked in my office finally. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it was just a normal day Friday. Weather was uh, spectacular, you know, like it's like in the 70s. Um, I got to wear pants. And I've been wearing shorts for so, so long right now because it's so hot. And I have air conditioning in my office, but still it's, it gets warm in my office. Um, so I got to wear pants, uh, you know, I got to, it felt like I got to dress up. So, um, and then yesterday, um, ongoing project with the mobile home or not the mobile home, I'm sorry, the storage, <laughs> the storage project Well, my wife asked me to grab all the fall, uh, stuff out now that it's under 150 degrees outside, my wife is in the mood for the fall. So now, uh, she's decorated the house in our fall colors, a lot of pumpkins, a lot of orange, a lot of brown. So that made her happy. So she worked on that yesterday. We got rid of some stuff. Uh, we're always constantly uh, looking to donate stuff to a, a lot of these different charities. So uh, we have a lot of stuff. So we're, we're, we're chipping away at it. Um, I did find some boxes of my personal stuff as well, which I need to go through. Um, there's some that's sentimental, but most of it's just junk and I'm just gonna throw away. So. That felt good. So that was yesterday, Saturday, and today, this morning, just cooked some breakfast. Going to continue on a little bit with the carport and getting rid of all the stuff in there. And then um, going to get ready for the week. Oh, and I also did laundry. We also did laundry. So, so that was our boring weekend from our, um, our uh, water crisis that was Thursday. So... Hope everybody has a great weekend. Enjoy the weather if you're here in the Bay Area. And if you're anywhere else, you know, uh, you know, be with your family. Enjoy your weekend. So, uh, again, since we are still in the beer bug era, um, so cover your face. Uh, keep your distance from people. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. And I will talk to you all.
very soon. Aloha.